friends, welcome back to Premier Finds. I hope that you are doing well. Today we are going to go over some goodies that I am excited about. Most of the items will be linked below if you find that you want to go and peruse around in shops and or online to further look into some of these things that I'm going to go over today. As you guys may or may not know, I am a runner. I love running. It is my favorite way to exercise. And so I am always on the market for new shoes. And today, how about these bad boys? These are the Brooks Speed Neutral. Fun, hot pink color, hot pink strings with some royal blue around. They are loud. There's nothing modest or shy about them. They feel great. I'm very accustomed to running in Brooks. They're, they are my go-to along with Hoka's, I must admit. But I saw these, they were on sale. If you are just starting your running routine, you might want to consider Brooks. I have found these shoes anywhere from $69.99 to $149. Truly, depending on where you get them and what color that you're looking for. Everyone doesn't like a bright, bold pink, so this one was on sale doesn't matter to me. I want something that feels good once my feet hit the pavement. This shoe still feels good when I'm at mile five, mile 10. This shoe does nicely. Really excited about it. Breathable, lightweight, lot of padding. Again, this is the Brooks Speed Neutral. Really, really excited about those. Oh, and true to size, I wear an 11. This is an 11, it feels great. Along with running attire, Bomba's socks. Now let me tell you, I know you're thinking, friend, a sock is a sock is a sock. No, it is not. Not when it comes to running. Bomba, they are a performance running sock. The one thing I like about this company is that they do a very nice, a beautiful job of donating to countries to help them out. And I love that a purchase is in some way paying it forward. The thing I like about Bombas is that they feel good and they stay on. Oftentimes when you're really picking up speed, socks tend to come down off of my heel. There is nothing more irritating than an ill-fitting sock when you're running. So I encourage you to look at Bombas. I will encourage you also try to get them in a package, if you will. This sock retails for about 15 to 20 bucks a pair. I know, I know, I know. But when you are investing in running, that's really not a lot of money. I have often seen them a little less if you buy them in pairs. So, and if you get them at some place like TJ Maxx, maybe they may go for 10 bucks, but it is a performance running sock. It's not just an athletic sock, if you will. So check out Bombas. I love those very, very much. I am interested in seeing how these are going to work. These are the Bose Quiet Comfort earbuds. I must have music when I run. Must have music. And usually I use the over the ear earphones and people laugh at me, I know, because it looks awkward. They are big, they are bulky, but they stay on. In years past, I have tried the Apple AirPods, whatever you call them. They don't last a half mile and I'm looking for them in the street. So I'm interested in a smaller earbud that will stay in when I'm running. And I love Bose quality. I'm gonna just tell you, in terms of over the ear, I'm all about Bose. I love the, oh, I can't say enough about them. So I am hoping that this stays in and that the sound is just as good. You gotta have some good music when you're running or walking. So I will stay tuned on the Bose Quiet Comfort earbuds too. Jewelry is still out. The next thing I want to talk about, I want to get into a little skin and body care. And I am going to start with a company that's been very popular lately. It is the Osei or the Osea, depending on how you pronounce that. This is the anti-aging body balm. I'm gonna talk about the pink elephant in the room. It is expensive. Looks like this, packaging is beautiful. This is the anti-aging body balm. It does smell, uh, has a lot of eucalyptus in it. It smells very spa-like, okay? And they are cruelty-free, earth-friendly. And that is a really big deal with a lot of their ingredients being based out of the sea. Cruelty-free, vegan, gluten-free, free. It's just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, super nourishing. Softens the skin with a combination of passion fruit, coconut, acai, has a very nice glow to it. And it does smell good. Very, very spa-like. I think this retails for about 40 bucks, maybe 
50 depending on where you get it. And if you wait and get it on sale, a lot of these things I strongly encourage you wait and get them on sales when stores like Sephora, Ulta, Nordstrom, when they're doing promotions, that's a great time to stock up on your pricier items. So again, that is the anti-aging body balm. It does smell pretty good. You guys know I am all about body oil. I love oils. And this is the Andaria Algae Body Oil. Very nice. I'm going to put this one on the other hand. Beautiful packaging. Beautiful packaging. Love that. You ladies and gentlemen know we are all about the packaging. So whereas that anti-aging balm is a little richer and shinier, the oil actually is very light. Very nice smell as well. The body balm has a rich, a stronger smell to it. Very nicely done. I think that retails for about 30 out. And again, it depends on where you get it and what packaging, what they're packaging the item with. As an alternative, my ride or die, I love Argon Oil by Josie Mare. And I've talked about it before in my previous videos. This here is awesome. It's the Organic Moisturizing Oil by Josie Marin, 100% Argon Oil. It is delightful. So, and in the winter, ladies and gentlemen, it is important that we keep our bodies hydrated from the crowns of our head to the, our toes. We need to make sure that our body is hydrated so when summertime comes, we're not trying to get ready. Let's stay ready. Stay ready and don't get ready. Coin that, okay? Love that. So I am very good about taking that extra time after a shower and or bath to use my products. Not just the face, okay? Total body. Total body. Summer's coming, trust me. Along those same lines, let's jump into a little Fenty, shall we? Rihanna. I love the way she names her products. I'm here to talk to you about the Body Duo, the Rough Rider, and the Butter Drop. <laughs> I love it. And you know, her iconic packaging is always the same there. So the Rough Rider is an exfoliating body scrub. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make sure we understand. You can put all the oil and balms you want to. If you don't exfoliate the crust, yes, I said it, we need to get the dead layers off of the dermis and the epidermis. Let's get that off and away using a nice scrub. Okay, so this is the Fenty scrub. It's the Rough Rider getting off of the old skin. And then we want to go in with the Butter Drop. I love her purple packaging. It's so pretty. I'm running out of space. Go above my watch. So rich. Guys, you know, this stuff is not inexpensive. It is expensive, but I'm telling you, this is not your typical, come on, look at that. It's not moving, okay? This really does not have a smell to it at all. So if you are sensitive to smells, this won't do you wrong. This particular packaging comes from Ulta. The other two came from Sephora. You can also get this Osea from Target, but this packaging came from Ulta. So nicely done. Again, that is Rough Rider, start with Rough Rider, and then come in with Butter Drop. Since we are on, you listen, you cannot help but notice this powerful red. If it's too much for you, I'm sorry. I'm trying to branch out and embrace red. In my attempt to embrace a stronger, bolder color, I picked up a few items. Some I've had for a while. I just decided to go and dig them out and I'll play with some things. It's okay to step out of our comfort zones just a little bit. So started off with the lip bar. Rich Auntie and Boss Lady. This is a black owned company and what I'm wearing right now is Rich Auntie. It is vegan free. It's just a delightful product. It doesn't take a Brillo pad to get off. It is very matte. It is very bold and it is very strong. So black owned company. I'm very proud about that. The lip bar is the name of that. A nice liner that I decided to go with to the one thing about reds and bold reds, you have to apply them very carefully. They can look a hot mess very easily. You have a little more grace and freedom with neutral tones, but when it comes to a red, it's easy to mess up. So I went with the liner. I thought about doing Ruby Woo, but I couldn't find that. So I went with, actually, no, I was looking for a cherry and I ended up going with Ruby Woo. Now, this is the color. I mean, that's, that's pretty red, okay? Ruby Woo by MAC is also one of their more popular colors in general. But as opposed to getting the lipstick, 
they were sold out it's that popular i went with their their lip gloss okay so this is ruby woo so i showed you the lip liner and right next to it beautiful 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 and that's the color there. You're venturing out into reds. I strongly advise you try those. You guys know I told you that I was enjoying. I was enjoying the Lori Mercier Loose Setting Powder. And this is in the Translucent Honey. I told you that I was considering getting her big sponge that goes with that. So I picked up a couple. And I want to show you. It would be easier if I had the full size bottle. But my goodness, ladies, it feels so good. Now, typically in the mornings, I use a Dior powder puff, which is very luxe as well. I enjoy that. But Laura Mercier has her own and it feels so, so good. And it applies her product beautifully, beautiful. And as you know, the sponges don't have to go with the product setting powder. It can go with any setting powder. And if you are looking for a large, nice, sponge Laura Mercier does a good one and I love the Dior one. When I was in Sephora the other day in addition to picking up this Laura Mercier sponge I decided to try and you guys please chime in and let me know if you've tried it. Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Now I haven't worn it yet. I did try it on in the store and I was very pleased. And this is in the shade 6.5. We're gonna see, I'm gonna keep you posted. This retails for about 50 bucks, okay? I don't know guys, skincare, makeup, it's just, it can be cost prohibitive sometimes. That's why I always like to give you an alternative. The cheapest drugstore, or let me say this, the best drugstore alternative that I have found would be probably by, I enjoy a lot of L'Oreal products, but there are a lot of very good drugstore foundation. Please don't think that because you're smarter, <laughs> no, no, you're smart enough not to pay $70 for a foundation that you haven't arrived. Trust me, this can be very cost prohibitive. We will keep you posted on our thoughts on that. You guys know I love sunglasses. Love, 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 love. I also like venturing out into different kinds. So when I saw these, I walked by and I said, absolutely not. You don't like that type of sunglass and then I walked back around and I thought why are you still looking at it and I thought I think it's because I like it. Key sunglasses. Fabulous. These are a little different. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Dun, 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 dun. I think she's fabulous. It's a little different for me isn't it? I know it is for those of you that know me. It's out there. It is out there but you know what? Life isn't a dress rehearsal. Live a little. Live on the edge. It's different. It's fun. I'm going enjoy them. I'm enjoying them. I have a puppy across the room and he keeps looking. She looks at me like, who are you and what are you doing? Weird. Her ears went right up. Look how she's looking at me. Oh my goodness. Guys, check them out. I have paid a lot for high-end sunglasses. Key sunglasses retail for about 75 bucks. You may think that's high-end, but as we all know, you can pay five, six, seven, a grand for sunglasses. Again, we are all making sure we are spending wisely. If we want to stay on budget, if we're watching our pennies, if we wanna be a little more frugal in our spending, I wanted to share with you two black faux leather skirts. This one is by good old Target, okay? I love the width of the belt loops. Here we are, midi length, right? Back, front, split. This skirt retails for about $30, $35. Now, I wanna show you the skirt by Rag and Bone. If you're able to, or you tend to not buy from Target for whatever reason, and you like a little more luxury, and it starts off, it retails for $375. I got it on sale for $150. Has the Rag and Bone, of course, their symbol there. Two pockets in the front, a little cash pocket there too. Slit. In the front, same things. Length is about the same. What's the difference you ask? Well, first and foremost, it's by Rag and Bone. So although they have some of the same features, there is a different hand to the faux leather. Trust and believe this is not a leather skirt. This is still faux leather. It's just Rag and Bone faux leather. Although they are both faux, the Rag and Bone skirt has a better hand to it. It feels better. It feels good. So does this skirt too though. And you don't know anything about the hand when you are wearing it because I would hope people aren't coming up to you feeling on your skirt. I can tell there's a difference in the quality, but my point of this is just to let you know that you can still look fabulous regardless of what you are wearing in terms of where it comes from and regardless of the price point. You can look fashionable 
at various price points. And I'm gonna show those on. All right, so guys, faux leather skirt number one. This is by Target. Four pockets, two in the front, two in the back. Midi length slit in the front. I just threw it on with a blouse from Neiman's, old as the hill, with the Louis Vuitton reversible leather belt. This is skirt number one. It retails for $30. Okay, friends, now this skirt is by Rag and & Bone and it retails for $375. It has four pockets, two in the front, two in the back. It does come with a little coin pocket there. Same faux leather, same split as the other skirt. It does have the rag and bone motif right here. The button, which you can't even see because of the belt, has rag and bone on it. It does feel beautiful. It is at a very different price point but this is skirt number two. All right, friends, outfit of the day is a good old sweater dress. I think it's one of the easiest way to get dressed in the winter. One piece over the head. This is, I think it's by Pretty Little Thing. I love it because it is form fitting. It has an interesting slit in the back. It comes up high and wide. This is a size small. I love the fit of it. I love the length. I love the V-neck. It's not too much. One thing you can do, if you wanted to kind of jazz it up a little bit, the beauty of a mini dress, you could easily add this belt, give it a totally different look. I would probably pair it with a brown boot, but you could do that. I love the width of the belt if you wanted to change it up. And then secondly, if you wear a sweater dress, make sure you have great supportive undergarments, okay? Um, the other thing you can do if you find that you have a little more tummy than you would like, go with a longer necklace. I would even go with one longer than this. I have some that stop right about here and it kind of just distracts from the tummy a little bit. So if you're carrying a little extra weight here, it's okay. Just go with a longer necklace to kind of camouflage some of that. That is the outfit of the day, a good old sweater dress and a boot. Okay, that is it for today. If you liked any of the items that I reviewed today or show, please look below and you will see the links and if you are enjoying this content please feel free to like share and subscribe I appreciate your support and let me know what you'd like to see next have a great day